Dangerous New York City heat wave puts inmates in peril. Temperatures are expected to reach above 100 degrees over the weekend, and some of the city's most vulnerable people don't have access to basic needs such as air conditioning or summer clothing, according to legal groups representing inmates, which provides legal representation to those who can't afford an attorney, said inmates on Rikers Island report being unfairly punished for trying to stay cool. A. Some inmates only have one set of clothing you long underwear you and one client said a correction officer turned off a fan when people removed their shirts, the group said Friday in a tweet AA. On Rikers most are without AC. Doc not provided in a letter addressed to Department of Correction Commissioner Cynthia Bran on Friday, at Legal Aid Society asked that inmates in city jails be protected against the sweltering temperatures. Most crucially, we ask that the city move all individuals confined to their cells to air-conditioned units, the letter said. This includes in New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio earlier this week in preparation for the high temperatures. Extreme heat is dangerous, period, de Blasio said. I urge all New York in the past. The DOC has been criticized for failing to comply with court orders to provide a safe environment at Rikers when temperatures skyrocketed. The DOC told HuffPost that in housing areas without air conditioning, inmates have access to ice and showers between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m., and that clinics are open 24-7 for patients experiencing heat-related symptoms. The Legal Aid Society is urging those worried about incarcerated loved ones in the city to call the Board of Correction at 212-669-7900 to make a report. This article has been updated with comment from the doc about inmates' access to cooling options.